I'm Dr. Rukundo Jean Damasen. I'm working at Butare University Teaching Hospital in the southern province of Rwanda. I'm among the first doctors to be trained by Merck Foundation in the program Merck Fertility Training Program. And I have been trained in uh, India, in the Bangalore, in the, at the Miran Hospital. Before the training by Merck Foundation, there was no specialist in Rwanda who has been trained uh, to handle fertility issues here in Rwanda. And uh, I'm the first one to be trained in, for the fertility issue, and I'm the first fertility specialist here in Rwanda. To me, it was a privilege to be part of the Merck Foundation, uh, uh, to be chosen among the by Merck Foundation, because uh, here in Rwanda there was no no one who was specialized in handling the infertility issue here, and um, we were trained in uh, a really a good hospital in India. So it was Miran Hospital, and uh, it is uh, a highly uh, qualified uh, training center because all over India. It was the, among the first uh, clinic who are uh, training specialists, training embryologists, and uh, who also is handling uh, highly uh, uh, complicated issue in infertility in India. So um, I said this is really a privilege for me because I was the first uh, uh, specialist dealing with infertility here in Rwanda, and uh, I'm really um, uh, uh, I am thanking the Merck Foundation for choosing me to be part of this program. And um, we have been trained in uh, a highly specialized center in India, the Miran Fertility Center. And uh, among the key areas of the training at Miran Hospital is that we have been really trained uh, handling all the uh, issues regarding the infertility. So the first part, we're just uh, trained theoretically how we can address everything regarding the infertility. And then we were uh, exposed to different uh, equipment and uh, procedures that will be helping us for managing the infertility in different countries when we return back from the, uh, the training. So uh, uh, the first thing that we have learned was really the theoretical part that has been really addressed very well. And then uh, we have been doing different practice at the hospital. The first thing we have been uh, uh, taught how we will be uh, doing the entertainment examination for people who will be responding, who are likely to respond to uh, this practice. And for people who are not responding or who are, are not uh, qualified for the entertainment examination, we are also um, been uh, exposed on how we will be uh, handling the in, in vitro fertilization, the IVF. And also we have been uh, trained the laboratory to handle the embryos and how to just uh, look for the quality and how to uh, assess the quality of the embryos and how to handle the embryos and how also we will be just managing our fertility laboratory when we are returning back from the training. This really was a, really a, a good training. Uh, we have learned a lot during the training, and uh, when we come back, it was uh, a pleasure to start to help different couples who are facing infertility issues. Uh, maybe I can just address one of the stories, uh, successful stories of people who were facing those problems before. Uh, when I come back in the month of January, uh, I met a couple who had infertility for 10 years and another couple who had infertility for nine years. So the two couples, there was no previous pregnancies and they were really hopeless couples. And um, by applying the knowledge we learned, and uh, uh, we really uh, helped those couples. And uh, two weeks ago, the first couple did really delivered the first baby. It was really a lovely baby of four kilograms. And uh, the other couple is now having a pregnancy of eight months. And um, without, without the, uh, the training, there could, no, could not be the, the, those couples will not really have uh, the chance of, of being helped here because they have trade different areas here, but they didn't really 
uh, get the pregnant, get pregnant. But uh, by applying what you have learned, and uh, with the regular follow up of those couple, we finally succeeded in helping them. And I'm happy that one of them is now having a baby right now. And the other one also is uh, expected to have uh, her first born. After nine, nine years, he's having uh, her first born this coming January. It's really uh, something that was impressive to me. I was the first to be trained, and afterwards one of my colleagues has been also trained. And now we are just preparing to send a, a, another person. And uh, there has been also three laboratory uh, uh, embryologists who has been also sent there for the training. Now, um, that has been back and uh, applied the knowledge that I got from the India through the Merck Foundation initiative. I can say that uh, um, we really uh, appreciate what you have learned there. And we see the impact when you are coming back because we see we are helping people and we have, uh, have, we have had uh, success uh, for, uh, for different couples. And uh, those who are not succeeding also we know how to, how to orient them. So I can really recommend that all doctors who are really interested in uh, dealing with the infertility can also uh, benefit from this program. I'm really uh, thankful for the Merck Foundation and um, I'm happy to be part of this uh, program. And I can say that this training uh, has contributed a lot and has changed the lives of different couples. So um, I'm really thankful to the Merck Foundation and um, uh, I would really uh, be uh, continuing to help people by the knowledge I get through the Merck Foundation.